Nothing there. Nothing to plunder. Nothing to be had there. What are you standing around here for? I come from the castle. They sent me to look for those missing, and to check out the area. Those missing? Some fled when the dragons attacked. Most of them didn't make it. No surprise there. But if there are any survivors left, I'll bring them back. Can you help me get into the castle? Sure. But you have to do me a favor. If you can make it to the castle, talk to the paladin Auric. Tell him that his brother bought it up there at the pass. How can I get into the castle? First of all, you can forget the direct path. But if you walk around the castle, you might have a chance from the back. You should stay away from the paths and use the river. It will be best if you swim downstream for a stretch. It should be easier from there. The orcs have set up a ram behind the castle. You can get in that way. Creep up on the orcs as closely as you can, and then run for it. You might just make it if you're fast enough. What do I need to know about this area? If you want to live, go back to wherever you came from. The Greenhides have laid siege to the castle for weeks now, and those dragons are hiding out somewhere too. The entire Valley of Mines is teeming with orcs. No matter where you're headed, this won't be a picnic. The entire Valley of...
Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there. Nothing there. Nothing there.
Nothing to plunder. You were damn lucky when you came in. I very nearly shot you. Then I guess I should be glad that you have such keen eyesight. Save your breath. Talk to Sengrath if you want something. I knew it. I knew that someone would succeed. Have you come over the pass? Our messenger managed to get through then. No, your messenger didn't make it across the pass. I have come by order of Lord Hagen. Accursed orcs. Well, Commander Garand will certainly want to speak to you. You'll find him in the large building guarded by two knights. Where can I find gear here? Tandor hands out the weapons. Angor, the steward, is responsible for everything else. What about magic supplies? We are equipped with spell scrolls. If you want some of them, let me know. Who can teach me something here? Ask Karoloth. He trains the boys in sword fighting. Maybe he'll teach you something too. Show me your spell scrolls. Hey! You came over the pass? Well done. We have already lost a lot of men out there. I know myself what it's like out there. I accompanied a reconnaissance unit for a while. Do you have a weapon? If you need a good weapon, I'm your man. What became of the unit? We scouted the area and wanted to advance to the coast. We set up our camp in a cave. It was late at night when the orcs came. They charged us up the slope with torches and drums and discovered us. We tried to flee, but I was the only one who got through. Soon after that, the orcs erected their big palisade and we pulled back into the castle. Show me your wares.
Hey, you! You train people? Yeah, once those orcs are even worse, the dragons attack again. Every single hand will be needed. Can you train me too? Sure. I'll train any good man. But besides your talent, you need a good weapon if you want to survive here. Ask the knight Tandor. He'll take care of you. What about long-range combat? What about it? Can you teach me that too? No, but you can ask Udar. He's a good... No, he's the best crossbow man I know. Hey! I want to train. Hey! I heard that you are the best crossbowman far and wide. If they say so, it must be true. What do you want? I am the greatest. <laughs> You're all right. Well, if you want to learn, then I'll help you. How are things in the castle? A few of the boys are practicing, but in principle, we're all just waiting for something to happen. This uncertainty is wearing us down. That's the strategy of those blasted orcs. They'll wait until our nerves are shot.
mustn't believe everything you hear. I agree with you completely. I wouldn't be so sure. That's been going a long time. I already thought this much. If he doesn't see it, I can. I'll never get this open without the right key. Stop! Who are you? The question where I come from is much more important. I came across the pass. So, are you going to stop me now, or can I go in? Well, I couldn't know that. Of course you're allowed in. He would have never thought of that himself. But he knew that all along. That was obvious all along. Where do you come from? You aren't one of the scrapers, and you aren't one of my people. Well? I've come across the pass. Over the pass? You actually got through? By Inos! What are your orders, soldier? I come from Lord Hagen. He wants me to bring him proof of the presence of the dragons. And you've just come here to get it and then disappear again? Well, that's what I had in mind. So he wants proof. He can have it. But I can't send you back to Lord Hagen without giving him information about the ore. Listen, Lord Hagen absolutely must learn what the situation is here, and how much ore we've mined up to now. All right. What do you want me to do for you? I've got three units of scrapers out there, but they haven't sent me a single nugget. Visit the mining sites and report back to me how much ore they have stored. Then I'll write you a letter that you are going to take back to Lord Hagen. Oh, well, I guess I have no choice. He listened to the wrong people. But why me, of all people? Because you know a way to get through the lines of orcs. My boys would be hopelessly lost out there. You, on the other hand, have managed to get through once already. That makes you the best man for this job. I need some equipment. Talk to Tandor about that. He'll get you everything you need. Where can I find the mining sites? Here, take this map. It shows the two areas where the mining sites are located. If you have any more questions, ask Parsival. He can tell you all you need to know about the scrapers. How's the situation? You should set out to find the mining sites. I'm desperate for news about the status of the ore production. What are you guarding? The prisoners. And who is that? A few convicts and the mercenary guard. A tough guy, strong as an ox. It took four men to bring him into custody. Can you let me into the dungeon? No, no one may enter the dungeon. That goes for everyone. For you, for Milton, and for everybody else. This isn't some tavern where you can go in and out as you please. Remember that. Can't you make an exception for me? No. And what if I pay you gold? Hmm. No. If he doesn't see that, I can't help him. Don't you ever sleep? No. Enos himself grants me the strength never to need sleep. He listened to the wrong people. I don't know why he gets so worked up. If he doesn't see that, I can't help him. But he knew that all along.
What can you tell me about the Scrapers? I assembled the three groups. Marcos, Fajeth, and Silvestro are the paladins who each lead a group. Marcos's group set out in the direction of an old mine, led by an old digger named Grimes. The other two groups set out together. Jurgen, one of our scouts, has reported that they set up camp near a large tower. How's the situation? The camp is surrounded by orcs. They've really dug themselves in. But even more alarming are the attacks by the dragons. They have destroyed the entire outer ring by now. Another dragon attack, and we'll take heavy losses. How many dragons are there? We don't know how many there are all in all, but it's more than one. But that isn't all. The whole Valley of Mines is full of evil creatures that support the dragons. Let's not kid ourselves. Without reinforcements from outside, our chances of getting out of here alive are slim. What's your task? I'm a strategic officer of the King, and I currently answer to the Honorable Commander Garand. We are the last of the Paladins here in the castle. All the others have left or fallen. It is now our responsibility to bring a good end to this expedition, and that we shall do. By Enos, that we shall do. I am to go to the mining sites. This isn't going to be child's play. Beware. First of all, seek out the Paladins. They are leading the three groups. If you want to know more about it, speak to Parseval. I have a message for you. What is it? Your brother is dead. He got as far as the pass. My brother? Enos put me to a severe test. But he died as his servant. This news is like an arrow which pierces my heart. I shall seek new strength in prayer. How's the situation? You need to find all scrapers, plus the ore. Then, we will figure out how we can leave this valley. He didn't get that from me. It's a bad business. Some don't even know it. It's a bad business. He didn't get that from me. You listen to the wrong people.
you damn beast. Hey, I've still got it. You lockpicks would be helpful. Ah, so you're the guy who made it across the pass. Yes. Great. I'm Angor. I manage this expedition. Just don't get the idea that I give anything away for free. But if there's gold in your pockets, I'm always willing to cut a little deal. Have you got anything interesting for me? I can get you better armor. Heavy militia armor, if you're interested. It's not cheap, of course. So go get the gold, and I'll give you the armor. Give me the armor. Here you are. It'll protect you well. It's a damn good piece of work. Show me your wares. Someone's got to pay for that. Hey, what do you want? I know a thing or two about forging. Fine. So what? Don't say you didn't know. Can you teach me something? So you already know the basics. I can show you how to improve your work. Then you'll be in a position to make better weapons. In us enlightens all those who recognize. Show me how. Come back when you have more experience. Can I use your smithy? I've got a lot to do. We'll only be in each other's way. Just wait until it gets dark. Then Parliff and I will hit the sack and you can work undisturbed. I'm in enough trouble as it is. That's not Could you make a weapon for me? I don't have time for that. that Tandor hands out the weapons, I just make them. And Parliff sharpens them. How's work? I forge the weapons for the Castle Knights. Since we've been here, I've been fully occupied making new weapons. And we'll need them too. We'll show these damned orcs how sharp our blades are. Hey, Parleth! Make those blades nice and sharp! Orcs are damn tough creatures! Hey! Hey, how are you? How do you think I'm doing? I spend a whole day at the grindstone sharpening blades. And yesterday, Engor shortened our rations again. If it goes on like this, we're all gonna starve. Or we'll all be killed by orcs. Not a pleasant prospect. I don't believe Who is Engor? Engor manages the provisions and shares out the rations. And they get smaller every week. Sure, you can bargain with them. But only for cold, hard cash. And you can't afford that? The most I can get for the lousy pay we collect is a couple of turnips. Where can I find this Engor? In the Knight's house. Just go through the open entryway next to the smithy. Hey, you! What's up? That damned Engor should hand out more rations.
It was just like you said. Is it really true? You're enough trouble as it is. I don't as if I didn't have enough problems. Hey, you! What's your task? My assignment is simple. I'm supposed to make sure that the orcs stay away more than 30 feet from the gate. If they try to break through the portcullis, I sound the alarm. That's all. Some problems solve themselves. You mustn't believe everything you hear. Who said that? Exactly what I said. I'm no better off myself. Hey, you! You're the one who deals out the rations, or so I've heard. That's right. Why? Should I feed you now, too? If there's anything you want, you'll pay for it. Just like everyone else. Maybe I can help you with your work. Hmm. Sure, why not? I could use some help. So, what needs to be done? Our food supplies are low. Above all, we're almost out of meat. So, if you could get us some meat, raw or cooked, ham or sausages, that would be much appreciated. How about it? Will you help us? Don't worry, I'll get you some meat. About two dozen chunks of meat would help me feed quite a few hungry mouths. Come back when you have the meat. I need to get back to my work now. Hey! Here, I bought you something. Great! You brought enough meat! That'll do for a while. But don't get the idea that I'll give you anything for free now. Do you really believe that? Hey, you! What's up? Angor handed out a new ration of meat. Man, was that badly needed. Hey, you! Garan sent me. I need some gear. Close or long-range combat? Close combat. One-handed or two-handed fighter? One-handed. Then take this stone breaker. A good weapon. Sorry for the poor guy. I never knew that. There have been all kinds of problems. Nobody ever asks for my opinion. I never knew that. Look who has returned. Our hero from the barrier. Good to see you, Milton. You here again? Again. After the barrier collapsed, I entered the monastery of the Magicians of Fire. But once it was clear that the Paladins wanted to come here, my experience and knowledge of the place proved to be quite useful. So they decided then and there to entrust me with the holy mission of providing magical support to this expedition. Do you remember Gorn, Diego, and Lester? Of course I remember the boys. Well, Gorn and Diego didn't get far. They were picked up by the paladins here in the valley. Lester is vanished, though. I have no idea where he's hanging around. I've met Lester. He's with Zardas now. One bit of good news, at least. Well, I have nothing pleasant to report. So what is there to report? The paladins came here with the intention of getting the magic ore. But with the dragon attacks and the orcs, I can't imagine the paladins will march out of here with the ore. 
No, Bayanos. I feel the presence of something dark, something evil growing here. Something that emanates from this valley. We paid a high price for the annihilation of the sleeper. The destruction of the barrier has ruined this place as well. We can all count ourselves lucky if we survive this. How much ore have you stored away so far? How much ore? Not one chest. We haven't had contact with the scrapers for some time. It wouldn't amaze me if they were all long dead. and We are being attacked by dragons and besieged by orcs. This expedition is a complete disaster. Where are Gorn and Diego now? Well, Gorn is sitting here in the dungeon because he resisted arrest. They assigned Diego to a troop of scrapers. Ask the paladin Parcival. He assembled the groups. Let's go and free Gorn. Well, the problem in this matter is that Gorn is a convicted prisoner. But if we're lucky, Garand will agree on a deal and we can buy his freedom. Yes, maybe. Keep me in the picture. He would have never thought of that himself. 